All right. Um, we're reading locomotive uh, uh, control electrical uh, electric diesel manual GP thirty five static control. Criminal collection of Tom Gardner from rrflags.org. Uh, locomotive control GP thirty five static control March nineteen sixty four served the Department of Electric Locomotive Division General Motors Corporation Lagrange Illinois United States. Um, caution, the diagrams used in this handbook are simplified and presented only with the guide explaining with the GP35 control system. The circuit values should not, sh um, shown do not necessarily agree with the wiring specific locomotive, although consult with the applicable wiregrams when wire working with the control system. All the troubleshooting adjustment procedures include the handbook are they are intended with the guide do not attempt to control the system adjustment using the information presented here. Adjustment procedures apply appear on the schematic wire drawing over um, covering the specific locomotive and taking precedence over the information presented here. Introduction. The purpose of this handbook, uh, this handbook is to describe the GP35 locomotive power control system to serve the guys with familiarize themselves with them systems. The major difference between the GP35 power control system and the system of the models earlier than the GP30 Lion. Application of the control of the main general generator battery field excitation. Control transition from series parallel to parallel parallel and control uh, steps and percentage of the motor field. Application control in the dynamic brakes. For controlling wheel slip under the power while in the Dynamite breaking the ma major differences between the GP35 control system and the GP30 control system um, lie in the number of steps of the motor field shunning employed in the use of the shunning limiting circuit to the control of the percentage motor field show uh, when fields are, are are hot. This control improvises the communication and increases traction motor brush life. This handbook is divided into four sections. Section one covers the main generator fit battery field excitation. Section two covers the transition control. Section 3 covers the dynamic um, brake wheel slide control. Section 4 covers the information that may be checked within the troubleshooting with the control system. The is followed with the step by step manner of actual sequence controlling operated simple line with the graphs, schematic wire diagrams that they appear adjacent to the re related text. Alright, um, Section 1 GP35 excitation um, system. The depth of the GP35 excitation's performance of the control system should be understood that while the performance control system functions, the adhesion control considerations to allow compatible operation mixed with the consistent with the governor is still the primary energy power output control device. As indicated in figure 1-1 one, one, that the three-phase alternating current with the excitation of the D32 um, generator battery field to taken with the D14 alternator. The alternator power provides excitation range with greater with the availability system of the auxiliary generator power communicator Communicator type load re regulators and auxiliary generator power is used in excitation under the extreme conditions of uh, temperature. The excitation motor is ranged from 30 for the 0 to 45 amperes. Right, in Figure 1, you see the excitation system black diagram. The, the governor, the 567 engine, uh, engine a auxiliary generator, but, um, and uh, going through um, currents to the F67 energy and the load regulator, the load regulator going to the PLR magnet. Um, from the um, 56 engine, engine to the alternator, the magnetic amplifier with the battery field current. Um, Main generator traction motors, governor, uh, and the governor control. All right, the excitation range for the zero to forty-five amp is unlike the conditions of the temperature of the G thirty-five and the GP thirty of the excitation system, which uses the D fourteen power wire wound rheostat to affect the load regulation. It has range of the one point five to seventy amps. The extended range may be possible to use with one hundred ninety-five volts from the D14 alternator compared with the 74 volts from the auxiliary generator. The D14 alternator current is fed with the rectified magnified amplifier which is controlled with the polarized relay of the PLR, the low power load regulator. Um, a low power load power load regulator is under the influence of each of the governance of the rectified control current is fed with the D32 generator battery field. The load regulator field is 100 ohms at 100 watt wire round tapped rheostat that has a function controlling output magnified amplifier rather than limiting the battery field current directly to the communicator of the type of the load regulator. The regulator is driven with the vein motor similar to which is the driven with the commutator type. A single pro pro proportional main generator voltage is the generator voltage transducer the um, our govern general volt general vo generator voltage transducer. Um, the, sing the signal is edited with a similar signal proportional main generator current, which is derived with the generator with the contraductor, or the general conduct current transductor. These two signals are, am are you then used to control the output of the magnifying amplifier through the polarized um, power load regulator functions that each of these devices described in the following text and diagrams. 
Figure 1, 2 shows one of the three identical reactors together with a three-phase silicone rectifier making up the magnetic amplifier. The function of the three-phase reactor is to control the limit of the flow of the three-phase alternating um, current through the D14 al alternator generator battery. The simple silicon rectifier in addition with the rectifier of the D14 ensures the current always flows through the rectifier load windings in the direction from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4. Um, current flowing through the remaining of the three windings in the direction of 7 to 8, 9 to 10, 11 to 12. Increasing the flow of the current from in the 1 to 2 and 3 to 4 load windings. Conversely, a flow of the current is in these windings of 8 to 7, 10 to 9, 12 to 1. Or sorry, 12 to 11, decreasing the flow of the current in the load windings. All right, your battery field excitation reactor, re re reactor has the 1 to 3 power windings, 7 to 8 bias windings, and 10 and 11 and 12 drive control windings. Two types of transductor reactors used on the GP35 locomotive are shown in figure 1-3. The reactors are type of the figures in 1-3 are used to detect the main generator current, the flow of the alternator current with the AC coil of the control, or a transducer of the government control t um, transducer. The proportion of the flowing the flow of the main generator current with the passive um, Generator current transducer proportional flow main generator current with the pus passing with the reactor core. The type of the transducer is used in the motor field with the transductor. Other applications of the transductor are detection of the current with the dynamic braking grids with the locomotive equipped with extended range dynamic brakes to detecting brake signal in the field loop with the locomotive that's equipped. All right, two reactors of the type figure shown on three, figure one three B are used to make the voltage of the gover um, vo governing voltage transducer with the flow of the alternating current AC coil of the voltage transducer reactor three and four proportional to flow of the direct of the current coils one and two the current with the one two coils the proportional main generator volt flow of the AC with the three fours for the proportional main generator voltage. All right, so you have your current voltage transductor re reactors main volt main generator volts. Um, generator voltage transducer, AC terminals, gapless ion core, current with a gapless ion core, and the AC current is with the government control, governing, governing uh, con current transducer. All right, figure one, four, figure five, figure one, four shows the result of the unified rectal four D4 train current battery field excitation without the benefit of the controlling device. It can be seen with the graph that the current received with the D14 would be greater than the capacity of the battery field. Also seen that no control of the lever, the excitation engine, the load control of the train handling would be difficult. All right, here you have different, a whole bunch of rectifiers, which are um, potheads. Um, you have your fuses and uh, double gated way. Um, Battery field alternator, main generator, battery field, um, shunt field, and your D14 alternator. Um, your figure one four shows the D14 current used for the excite battery field without reactors. Our right, figure five one shows the drop in the battery field current caused by the additional loading windings of the three magnetic reactors. F field man, field one mag. Um, FM, um, field magnet 1, field magnet 2, field magnet 3, but the sugar shown in figure 4, um, four figure 414, one, four, one, four, in addition to the loading windings resulting with the cost and current approximately 50 amperes running 8, but the current within the capacity of the battery field is not to be provided with a note that the current always passes with the reactor windings through the odd and even one. 1 to 2, the 3 to 4, and this key is operation magnetic simplifiers. Here you have the dilator alternator with a pot head and your field magnetic um, windings. Also a double gauge flip with two fuses. A magnetic field with around the main generator and shunt field. Figure 1 6 shows the part of the circulatory required control of the low of the battery field. But the first of the step of the control is additional base current reactor. The 200 turn control winding of the each of the reactor with multiple purpose to winding is about 135 to 160 milliamperes of control current. The current flows from 8 to 7, even to odd. Um, this current is direction opposite the flowing of the load windings. 1 to 2, 3 to 4 is opposite flow of the current with the load windings. This increases the impedance of the reactor result from the flow of 1.5 amperes left for the battery field. This is no sufficient proper exciting main generator polar train. All right, you have your field magnetic currents on the auxiliary generator with a Rio Steiner um, 1. Once again, the alternator, um, two fuses, two a double gate, um, th six different field magnetic voices rectified into a battery field, and then a shunt field with a R reelector. Um, 
Figure one seven completely turn the battery field screen to current with the accomplice load right um, regulator excited with the five hundred turn control winding each regulator's direction from eleven to twelve. The current is opposition opposition to the flowing of the eight to seven winding result for the lowering of the rim pens for the FUEL magnet one, two, and three. With the real stat two adjusted with the exciting with eleven to twelve winding sixty uh, seven hundred and seventy milliampers. Proper battery field amperage will be result from 80 volts across the battery field. The governor will now have complete control of the engine load, proper training, and the possible. All right, once again, you have the alternator, two fuses, a battery, double battery gate with a field man split into two lines for the um, parallel circuits of the field magnet 1, 2, and 3. And um, 1, 2, and 3 with a rectifier going into the battery field uh, with a rectifier and a main generator shunning field. And the effect of the adding of the reactor driver to it shows the field magnet um, one and two their difference eight and seven um, windings positive to negative a odd to even um, auxiliary generator real stat load generator maximum field. All right, the characteristic selection system described yeah, you up to this point similar to those communicator type load regulator, except the increase of the range of power with the GP35 control system includes the circuitry accomplished from the following. In series par parallel motor connection to compensate for the fluctuation of horsepower to do the variation quality conduction of the fuel, ambient temperatures, air pressure, ma ma metering of the fuel with the injectors, regulators provided by the optimum power of the train speed, battering approximately 12 to 8 miles per hour. Um, all allows continuous operation of the speed range, regulates power of the main generator at speeds below 12 miles per hour, allowing the GP35 to work in an optimum speed in extending periods. The characteristic of the GP35 control system allows the compensation of fluctuation horsepower regulated horsepower overrides to the engine governor load reg regulator, which measures the field position where the compensation regulator characteristics is in effect. The characteristics maintain the use of the main generator voltage transducer or GVT, a main generator, um, main current gener transductor transducer, and two to four, from two four to one transformers and two rectifier bridges and um, CR20 and CR21 to two rheostats RH4 and RH7 as performance control in the um, what is the PLR I'm sorry about that like uh, what is the PLR Power load regulator, power load regulator, PLR is power load regulator. Um, adding a performance control power la load regulator. Our figure 1H of the how the main generator to induce of the governor current transductor is used simply pro proportional to the main generator current. The core of the general um, generator transductor current transductor capillus firm with clamp around the main generator bus. The flux the density the degree of the saturation of the core is the proportion of the level of the current main generator. Follows that the level of the AC current which passes the coil wound with these cores will also proportionally generate the current of the current's path for the primary winding X1 and X2 with the transformer 3T3. If a short circuit is placed across the secondary, the HV4 and H current with the primary will be portional with the generating current. Generating current is shown in the graph figure of 1.8. All right, your main generator currents going through, um, currents, um, 1, 2, and 3, and 4, a, gener a governing uh, current transducer, 1 and 2, 3, 4, and these small S and Fs, uh, Diam uh, your alternator from the main generator going off the get governing transducer into the uh, tran current transducer um, iron, iron core current feedbacks um, is illustration. The secondary transformer is added with the circuit of the figure 1A is a step toward backing towards easier. The second current T3 circuit current is a rectified with the UCR loaded with the HRS7. Alright, um... Here you have your diameter go di alternator going through two different um, things in the government country, so the main line current from two motors one, two, and three, and four. Uh, also, the diam the alternator lines runs a line with um, a transducer iron core, which fills up two rectifiers, um, goes through two different lines for a rectifier at real stat seven. Current feedback system, figure one nine. 
All right, in the circuit shown in figure five, um, figure one ten, there is a usable signal DC voltage across the loading rheostat R seven. The proper rule, though, the resistance is shown with the rheostat. It's just for the give a seventy four volt DC signal at thirty six hundred amps at the main generator. The main generator can be shorter with the circuit than seating the main early mounting at two thousand amps shown at the right of the load of the shunting panel in the background. All right, your main generator, the shunting circuit, and the shunt meter um, stuck in right in between of the main generator and the four traction excitations of the alternator going through a transducing core and hitting off at rheostat at the um with a voltage of 74 volts at the generator circuit um Figure 10, figure 110, current feedback system. Um, figure 11 means it has been updated. The DC voltage single a proportional main generator voltage manner similar to those used in the generator current signal. Um, to obtain the voltage signal and current proportional general gen generator volts pass with the coil, the core of the transducer with the governing um, voltage transductor and the governing current transductor. Um, AC current secondary coils, these cores will be proportional main generator. The current is transformed to rectify a pass for the RH4 19. Uh, 1950 volts where available the RH4 adjusted to give the 74 volt DC signal in practice for the HR, HR setting of the obtained with the MG setting of the short circuit main generator with the aerial stat adjusted with the general voltage and per value then fall with the power limit line see figure por lower portion of figure 11 12 and figure 4 6 um, our right, figure 11 12 shows the feedback signal volts and DC through the volts and its climb and acceleration then the real that be like read both stator right there um, for the real stat four and seven once again you have your main generator um, also which is a construct it goes through two conductor conductor trend transducer with his own line with the diet um, d14 alternator with going trans um, I guess um, not looking at the cutout lines, um, the main generator goes through the, has two different iron cores, three, and then it has um, um, another iron core, and then two rheostatters before the voltage goes back to the DC. Um, Figure 112, um, two feedback signals and connected with the series. The voltage added to the DO is added increased similar to obtain the connection of the two batteries in the series. Um, the straight line drawn back with a 1950 volt point with the voltage feedback is equal to 74 point volts and 360 amperes point with the current feedback signal is equal to 74 will the feed the sum of the two signals equal to 74 volts any portion of the line point on the line is not concedence that the straight line is closely parallel to the portion 2500 h um, horsepower curve that is used in the series parallel motor connection all right um down here on the bottom of the figure 112 you see the current plus of the feedback signals from 100 1915 volts to the main generator amperes the sum of the voltage drops across the real stat are four and seven equals 74 volts at any point of this line so all right you have real stat four and seven these are running on 74 volts um your main generator also you rectifying field currents one two and three and four all set up nice and neatly with the governor voltage transducer your can um governor can or can current transformer into the dial and diameter while also going through a tran iron core from the alternator to the real stat number um um r7 and same thing's going on, but there's two different transformers, and then um, a line, f um, one of the transformer lines, or sorry, the field winding, one of the linings goes from the main generator, the other one goes from the alternator into real stat number four. Figure 113, some of the two feedbacks is compared with the voltage potential load regulator arm that does um, done connection with the two negatives together with the positive side of the feedback signal. Load regulator arm through the coil of the polar relay, polar, uh, polarized relay, the um, po polarized load, regula load regulator, um, unbalanced voltage load regulator arm with the feedback signal will um, result with the current flowing of the pos um, p p power control power load regulator coil with the current flow with one to zero, three zero, zero current power load, load regulator coil will cause power load regulator contacts eight and two to open this results in major reduction in magnetory amplifier direct current in the battery field excitation is reduced and the result in the reduction in generator output close all right you have um under um three the polaroid polaro regulator classes closes eight and six and opens eight and two on a three on three 
All right, your power control series parallel shot at 100, 119, uh, 1950 volts to the main generator amperes of 3 to 3600. All right, looking for the common negative on the auxiliary generator with the load regulator, uh, so rheostat hooking up the maximum field at 74 volts to the power load regulator, 74 volts to rheostat 2 and 4, and then rectifiers into tra iron transformer coil um, t um, T4 and T3. Um, following an outside line of the common negative in the each side, each parallel from the main field and then into the rheostat or um, two a fuse box and two rectifiers, one going each way through the um, a loop uh, parallel current of the field magnet one, two, and three, which has the L to tw 11 to 12, 11 to 12 um, openings. All right. The rectifier around the field magnet 11 and 12 coils are 10 plate psylliums. Each plate conducts a uh, half a volt is applied, but the 5 volts must be ampl apl applied before the rectifier conducts. Since the DC current control of the RH2 applied with less than 3 volts, the rectifier has no effect on the control signal AC current that developed the magnetic amplifier 1, 11, 12 has been rectifier suppliers. All right, figure 114 depicts the condition where the engine output should uh, result of the feedback signal only 55 volts since the load regulator maximum field of the voltage of the, as its arm at 74 volts compared with the 55 volt feedback signal and current flows of the 3 to 1 polar like, po polarized lo load regulator coil polar um Polar load regulator contacts 8 and 2 closed resulting in the full drive in the magnetic amplifier but um Power load regulator contacts 8 and 2, and the resulting full drive in the magnetic amplifier. The full battery field excitation feedback voltage equals 74 volts. The follows the governor can control load on the engine, merely moving the load regulator. The system reacts rapidly, fluctuation in power output signification. Um, once you again, you see the auxiliary generator going to a load rheostat in the main field, um, 74 volts going through 3 to 1, um, 55 volts in a power load regulator connection. Um, going to rheostat number four and then into four different rectifiers um, on two different circuits in, in a TH transformer um, four. Also the rheostat number four goes in um, follows the re goes to rheostat on uh, follows on a parallel circuit with the rheostat which goes through three rectifiers to transformer number three. Alright um, from the rheostat the load regulator, the rheostat, goes from the um, maximum, the um, common negative, the uh, outside auxiliary generator, to two rectifiers at two to six, and then fuse, and then through f um, eleven to twelve, and different um, windings. Figure fourteen shows the power less limit with the nineteen fifty um, volts at three hundred three to six hundred amperes, and output of the less than seventy four volts is due to the reduced the throttle wheel slip act extension. extension. All right, the second function of the performance of the control of the system, the regulation provided with the optimum performance of training speed between the 12 and the 18 miles per hour, the accomplished change of the slope of the feedback signal line. This is done by the rheostat RH and R R R RH5 and RH6. <coughs> and the field shunt auxiliary relay FSA. Contacts M1 and, and, M1 and I N1, N12. Note that ARH5 is indicated with the foregoing illustration field resistance that was done to avoid the unnecessary um, complication of the power ex explanation previously text covered the performance control of the locomotive speed above 18 miles per hour. Therefore, the motor field shunting with the curb with the field shunt um, auxiliary relay um, was picked up with the field shunt auxiliary, picked up with the rheostat 5, with loaded with the T for terminal 4, transformer 4, rheostat 6 is shorted out. Opening the field shunt re, um, auxiliary relay N1 and N2 contacts, contact the DC voltage drops across the loading rheostat at 7 alone with the rheostat 6 plus the rheostat 7. Change the anchor point of the power line from 3600 to 2500 amp, 2550 amps, closing the field shunt auxiliary contactors M1 and M2. Change the DC voltage from the across for the RH4 four and RH plus 5 to cross the GH RH4 alone. This changes the anchor point for the power line from the 1950 to 3250. Volts. The power line is identified with the B. This is an effect of the field shunt auxiliator is dropped out in the series of the parallel fold operation. The effective portion of the line is shown the darker than complete than its upper limit, which is uh, 
Third function performance control system regulating power main generator. Originally 200, 200, 200, 2,000 horsepower locomotive speed, 12 miles per hour to the lab. The locomotive at work, optimum speeds, power, the adhesion, considerization accomplished, and aging in the slope of the feedback signal line. This is done through the rheostat RH11 and RH12 rectifier CR, as shown in the figure 116. All right. Um, the voltage line. Uh, sorry, I read that wrong. The effect, effective portion of the line is darker with the complete line with the upper limit of a thousand volts, which is the voltage limit of the main generator of the power limit. is explained with the following text. All right, you have your field shunt, um, relays, um, auxiliary relays to two different rheostats, RH five and RH six. Um, from RH five, you go to the polar load. Um, power load regulator coil RH4 to um, two through rectifiers which in, are in a positive negative connection of the transformer four um, four at, and um, real stat six and seven on the negative side goes to the uh, rectifiers to the power negative on both sides of the power negative of the T3 transformer conductor. Um, uh, the third function, the third function of the performance control system, regulating with the main generator, normally 22,000 horsepower locomotive speed, blue 12 hours per hour, 12 hours per hour, allow the locomotive to work at the optimum speed, power for the adhesion consideration accomplished for the gain, cut changing the slope of the feedback of the sig back signal line. This is done through the rheostat RH11 and RH12 rectifier CRN, shown in figure 16. Um, RH12 and connected with the voltage divider of the 74 volt um, source of the PA wire with the establishment of the potential to leave the CR39 through the signal of the T3.A with the potential established setting with the RH12. The load T3 is changed effectively, adding resistance total the RH12 and RH11 plus the RE29 parallel, the RH6 and the RH7 circuit. Power lines make a sharp bend, and the RH12 is obtaining the bend of the locomotive at a speed 12 hours an hour per hour. All right. The slope of the line after the bend is determined by the RH11. The RH11 is back, bringing about the um, slope that is very close to the arrangement of the 2,000 horsepower. Note that the bend beyond the slope of the line is the change of the railroad obtaining verified performance characteristics as desired within the limits. Figure 116 shows 200 horsepower control at 3,000 to um, 2,550 amps under 18 miles an hour, and 2,000 um, to uh, 4,000 horsepower. Um, volts or ampers. Same port of all um, 74 to v volts DC going through the PA um, PA wire going in through um, the B look makes this shows the power line side the real stat 12 going into what looks like a uh, two phase re re um, reductor or uh, Four different react rectifiers of the re re seven R H eleven through field auxiliaries um, N one and M one two split at the parallel for the re parallel closing of the R H five on the M one two side, the R H six on the M N one N two N one size, and then you have um, from the R H five and the and the and in the joints of the R H R H six and transformer. Uh, you have transformer four, which goes through through rectifiers before it hits, and then you have real stat um, RH six and RH seven on a parallel circuit with the T uh, third transformer three. The negative line from the RH twelve going to the RH seven and the RF R two three twenty three nine, which was uh, a parallel the rectif rectifier housing poor sharp bend. Um, Figure 117 depicts a plit, um, use of the performance control circuit for the control limit of the main generator ampers through the traction motor field during the dynamic braking the, the brake um, contacts direct with the po power load regulator with the load regulator control with the connect the power load regulator zener diode with the 24T with the power wire from the brake control rheostat the voltage feedback signal with the brake brake won't the voltage feedback is cut out at BKP1 interlock. Real stat is inserted with the current feedback circuit with the BKP1 interlock. 2000 horsepower control with the RH11, ARH12, and the CR9 does not go into effect with the dynamic braking um, because the signal of the T3 never exceeds the potential brush arm the real stat at 12. 
All right, the generator results with the feedback signal with the greater the signal, but the brake controls re um, rheostat. Um, polar power re load regulator contacts closed as 8 and 6 inter interprets the current magnetic amplifier driver coil if the generator current exceeds 975 amperes. The current feedback signal is greater than the maximum signal with the brake control rheostat. This limits the maximum of ger generator current. Dynamic braking circuits are further explained in section 3 of this handbook, eliminating the voltage heat feedback signal results in vertical limited shown on the graph. Um, figure 11 sh 17 shows the dynamic braking current with a voltage from 50 to um, 0 to 75 but stops at 50 and to the left about 900 amps um, 975 amps are left on the line using dynamic braking. Uh, it shows the main generator amperes fully on the voltage of the power regulator of 75. All right, once again, you have your exhilarated generator on the out end going through the first um, series of parallel currents of the load regulator. And then on the outside of the exhilarator ranch, you have the BR. Um, BR um, few, um, relay. Um, two BR relays with the rheostat. I guess that's marked with an R. 24 wire. Um, reverser. Rheostat. Field gate. Polar load regulator between 6 and 8. And then field magnets 1, 2, and 3, and 4. It loads 11 and 12 contacts. Um, your brake control power, brake control power control um, fuse through the power load regulator going through two rheostat 6, 7, and then a bra an 8 air, re rheostat 3 and a brake power connector um, relay. And then CR and CR3 with a um, transformer 3 inside the rectifying circuit. All right, figure two shows the transition program switch cam development chart. Um, the FTR, BTR, power, PTR operation values. All right, from the collection of the Tom Garden from the Warren from our dash flyonflags.org website. Section two, transition controls.